I've been using this UV light now for several months, and we, we, haven't, we don't have to do anything to it. The water comes in, it's sterilized, neutralized, it goes into the, the house, and everything's fine. We just have the one pre-filter. The pre-filter we're using right now isn't even very good. It's just a paper pre-filter. I'm going to replace that in January with a carbon pre-filter that goes down to 5 microns. The UV light, per the company, is supposed to last, the bulb is guaranteed to last a year. If I need to service the UV light, I can turn that off here. And, and take out the bulb and put in a new bulb. And when you do the bulb, you don't even lose water or anything. It only takes seconds to change the bulb. There's a quartz sleeve between the water and the bulb that the light slides into. That quartz sleeve can become dirty. They recommend it once per year, and this would depend on your water. So you would have to, you'd have to be uh, monitoring your water, but I suspect with a good pre-filter, once a year would be fine. That quartz tube is supposed to be removed and cleaned and reinstalled. And you just use like a microfiber towel or something to clean that, something that won't scratch it. The reason why you clean that is because if it builds up dirt particles on the outside, then the bacteria could potentially hide behind the dirt particles and not be neutralized. I don't use the Rios in normal circumstances, but if for some reason I have a problem with this UV light and I need to order parts, all I have to do is turn this valve off and turn those two on, and then I have filtered water that's clean and drinkable. Now these Rio filters, uh, they work really well. They, they super clean the water. If you look on Amazon, you'll see people complain that the filters don't work because they plug up too fast. And really, it's not, it's not true. The, the people are really upset that the filters work too well because they plug up so fast. They filter the water. That's what they do. So if you run dirty water into it, then you're not going to be happy with it because you're going to be cleaning it a lot. I built this system probably four or five times in my learning process. The, the shutoff valves are very important. It looks like a lot of wasted shutoff valves, but it's not, okay? I have hundreds of feet of water line between this shutoff valve and my buildings. So if I want to clean this filter, or service this UV light, if I don't have that shutoff valve there, then that means I'm going to drain the water in my yard into my houses. Now my hot water tank is higher than this valve. So when you disconnect stuff, the water will backfeed and come out of the lowest point. By having that shutoff valve there, I can turn off that valve and this valve and isolate this whole system. The only water I lose is what little bit when I turn on the garden hose and what these hold. And also when you turn the water back on, you know, it's pressurized in maybe five seconds. Not instantly, but very close. Some of the configurations that I have tried in the past, okay, don't make these mistakes because I've already done them for you. The first mistake I did was one filter. Okay, the first time I, I did this system was two years ago. I had one Rio 2000 in there. It worked great. Filtered the water, everything was good, except that it plugged up every weekend. In like two days it was plugged up. So every weekend when we come up, the first thing I had to do was clean it, and then it was good for the weekend, and then I'd have to clean it again. So, that's when I learned that I needed a pre-filter. So, I bought a pre-filter and the one Rio. And it still plugged up too fast. I think it'd go 
um, maybe a week. So then I tried two filters. I had a, a 20 micron pre-filter and a 5 micron pre-filter and then I had the Rio. And I, and I have, hopefully I'll have some, I have some video of install on that, so hopefully I can cut that in here. And those were installed in series, where I had to go through one filter, then another filter, then another filter. And that made it so it was longer in between cleanings of the Rio, but I still had to clean them like every uh, three or four days, even with two pre-filters. They just, the pre-filters aren't good enough. For one thing, the smallest one that they go down to that I could find is one micron, and the Rio's filtered down to 0.9 microns. So there's a tenth of a micron that's going through the pre-filters into the Rio, no matter what you do. And that makes a difference. So, in the best configuration that I had with us living here and using water every day about every four days I had to clean the filter so I had bought two filters and I would clean it I would put the clean one in here I would take the other one out I would clean it and then when it got plugged up I would put the clean one in here and I'd take that one out and I would clean it that way the water would only be off for a couple of minutes but I and and I was and and the filters were a lot would last twice as long, because you can clean those Rios about forty times, estimate estimated, forty times before they're no longer any good. When the Rios plug up, they never stopped flowing water. Okay, the water was reduced so that, you know, it it would be say a gallon per minute, but it never stopped flowing water. But a gallon per minute, you know, the shower is really sad and you have to wait, you know, it feels like a long time to just even get a glass of water or fill up the dish pan or, or do laundry or whatever. That was by having all of the filters in series. By putting the filters in parallel, the system works at least twice as good. I'd say three times as good. And it lasts a lot longer between cleanings. And of course that's going to depend on how much water you use.